I am in Terraria. Really interesting and uh, cool little game. Oh, oh gosh. All right. <laughs> Not even in here. Two seconds and I'm already getting murdered by little slimes. So this game, uh, when I first saw it, I didn't really give it a chance. I mean, I didn't hate what I saw, but I didn't figure that it was going to have much depth or that it would really, you know, that the, the 2D side-scrolling thing would really work for a game that's similar to uh, Minecraft and so forth. Which, by the way, is not a very uh, fair comparison. Because, yes, uh, Terraria and Minecraft share a lot of things in common, but uh, Terraria actually has a lot more content. Which is why, for the first time, I'm actually going to be doing a uh, totally new series, an actual series, and not just a little one-off video. So welcome to Baneland, my Terraria world, and to Coe's Bane. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do, you really start off with next to nothing. Um, a little bit more than Minecraft, you start off with a uh, pickaxe and a an regular axe. And the first thing you need to do, just like in Minecraft, is you need to start chopping trees down so you can get some wood. Which is what I'm doing right now. And also killing slimes is good because that's how you get, uh, I think it's called gel. Oh yeah, I have some. Gel. So I have six gel. And you can use that combined with wood to make some torches. And just like Minecraft, the sun up there is going to set, and it's going to turn nighttime, and then there's zombies and demons and such. So this is a, a brand new world for me, and I actually have not played very much. I really don't know too much about this game yet. Uh, all I've done is I popped into some multiplayer with my friends. Uh, to kind of get a feel for how this game works, and uh, that is it. I didn't really, I don't know the crafting recipes very well. I know a little bit of like the beginning ones, and I know how to build here. And uh, I got a good feel for the controls. But that is about it. So... First thing you want to do is get a little shelter built. Ow. Ow again. <laughs> uh, that way you're ready for the night. And... Let me see here. What else do I need to talk about? Uh, this is your hot bar. And it works just like Minecraft. It's uh, tied to the number of keys for hot keys. And what's a little different is when you hit escape. So you can keep playing, and uh, I can still... Actually, you can't access your hotbar once you're in your inventory, so if you want to have something out, you have to do it before you hit escape, but then you can still play while you have your uh, inventory up. And then your crafting is all done via this little menu down here. So you don't have to guess the recipes, but you do have to sort of you're still guessing in a way because you don't know what you're going to have until you have items. So this is all based off of what I can craft with the items that I already have. So uh, I'm going to build a crafting bench. And all you do is just click on it, it tells you how much it takes. So that took 10 of my wood here. So I'm going to put the crafting bench up here. And combine the wood and put the acorns away. Acorns can be used to actually plant more trees, uh, or so I hear. I also hear it takes forever for them to uh, grow. <laughs> so I'm just going to place my crafting bench down, 
Now I should be able to craft more advanced things now. Yeah, so here you can see the uh, list has got a lot longer. And I'm going to go ahead and craft a sword, which is pretty important. A hammer. Now what's interesting with this game is that you can build, since it's 2D, um, there is a slight three dimension or third dimension to it that you can build in the foreground and the background. And so far what it seems like to me is that the uh, axe and the pickaxe work in the foreground and the hammer works in the background. Okay, so now I'm going to also create a door. And I'll show you what that means in a minute, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and create as many torches as I can, which is 21. And I'm going to create a bunch of uh, wood wall, which for some reason it's not giving me the tooltip. I'm going to create a bunch of wood wall here. Oh, there it is. Can be placed. Now, this confused the heck out of me the very first time I played, because I didn't... I was placing wood wall, but it wasn't like a wall like these wood planks are making. It goes in the background, like that. You can walk in front of it. But you need that to actually build an enclosed home. Because right now all I have is like a frame of wood that's not actually closed. So I'm going to put that in here. And to explain what I meant about the hammer versus the axe, I can tear down my wall here, which I need to do anyway to put in my door, with the axe, but I cannot tear down the, the actual wood wall in the background. However, if I use the hammer, then I can. And the hammer doesn't affect foreground things. Not that I can see. I guess it does tear down my workbench, so I can tear down my workbench with a hammer. And it's kind of a background thing, as you can see. So that's kind of the rule of thumb. Um, my sword here. I can actually cut the grass with the sword, which is cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, Zelda. So I'm going to plop my door in there. Uh, it's basically three blocks high. And if I right-click on it, I can open the door and step out, close the door again. Um, so now I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and close things up. Now once I actually get this closed up, then I'm going to need to place some torches, because it will get dark in here. Not terribly dark, I'll still be able to see my guy, but it just looks better with some lighting. Ah, crap. I hate it when I do that. Alright, time to bust out the hammer. There we go. So now my house is more complete. You can see the dynamic lighting there, which is cool. There's the guide and PC. You can see it's pretty dark in here. Oh, this is cool too. When you hold a torch, the light actually is dynamic and follows you around. So I'm going to go ahead and place a torch up on my wall here. I'm going to place one over my door. So now it's all lit up, which is also pretty nice. Uh, let's see. I don't have much else. I have some wood walls left, but, uh, I'm all done with that. Oh, I know. Let me see, uh, about my crafting stuff here. There's a very useful item. Is this it? Yeah. Wood platforms. This is another thing that took me a little while to understand in this game. It works like, uh kind of like Super Nintendo games. Plays a lot like that. So, I was wondering, like, how the heck do you do a mine? Right? Because when you dig down... I'm just going to dig down right here. Well, I'm digging this hole, and now every time I'm in my house, I have to jump over this hole, and this is stupid. And I didn't understand uh, that actually what you want to do... And I'm going to dig down just a little bit further so it's easier to see this. Oh, this game uses pick pickaxes for everything, which is probably going to um, irritate the heck out of Minecraft players, but there is no shovel that I know of. 
All right, so I take this platform and I stick it there. Now I can jump up through and walk on it. So that's how you do it. And then you just push down to drop through. And that should be very familiar to anybody who's used to playing. Like, who grew up with like a Super Nintendo or Genesis or something like that. A lot of games had that feature in 2D worlds. All right, place some uh, torches there. So what I'm gonna do to do a mine shaft is I'm actually gonna put um, platforms at every level that I can. Although a little trick that I learned from my friends is, first of all, you wanna place platforms at about jump height for efficiency. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. Dang it all, there. Right, so that's just about the right distance right there, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like I jump about six blocks. And now I'm gonna put one more right there. There we go. Perfect. The reason I did it this way is so I can have a just a drop zone. So I have these little platforms, which are good enough, but in the future, um, apparently there's uh, grappling hooks, and rocket boots and all kinds of stuff like that. It'd be nice to have a clear path to fall through or to fly up through or whatever. Ooh. Zombies are out. There's one. <laughs> He's gonna pound on my door. But that's okay. Apparently they can't get through until something called Blood Moon, which I don't know anything about. I'm not yet experienced. Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to want to do a platform right here. Oh, it looks like I'm going to drop through. So we put a platform down. Perfect. And let's see what we're dealing with. Mm, looks like it's quite a drop. So I'm going to pop back up before I use up any of my stone and Let's see what I can build now. I can build a dirt wall, a stone wall. Those are new. And now I can build arrows. And a furnace. Nice. So a furnace takes 20 stone, 4 wood, and 3 torches. And I only have 24 stone. Oh, there goes a demon eyeball. Yikes. So I think if I have a furnace and I can craft more things, but I think I'm going to need, no, I don't know. I was thinking about I was going to need a uh, stone to build a wall here, but let's just see if we can get around this and see what's on the other side of this big hole in the ground. another hole. Okay, so yeah, I kind of have, have the picture now. Uh, and I'm going to see if... that's dirt, right? Yeah. I'm just going to use dirt to kind of build a wall down here. Let's see, one... two... Three. It's really hard to count in this game. Uh, that was a little close. That's okay. I can just hammer that off of there. Get it back. So yeah, so far I really I love the way this game plays. Um, it takes a little getting used to and a little convincing. But once you're into it, it is a lot of fun. And... I hate to make the comparison negatively, but I personally think that it's it's what Minecraft ought to be <laughs> in terms of uh, having some adventure, having some intrigue. You know, there's so far there's what slimes we've seen, and now zombies and demon eyeballs. So that's already you know half as many 
of mobs as Minecraft has, and I know there's lots more. And really crazy, creepy stuff, and just generally, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to having this adventure. Alright, so... Oh, okay. So to get torches back, you just right-click on them. That's easy. Easy enough. Now I'm gonna keep on going. <laughs>